Debbie Gough, um, I'm a guitarist, I play in a few uh, bands in Birmingham and staying with Mark Morton from Lamb of God. Do you feel like some of your older albums before you've said, uh, you know, lyrics are kind of a snapshot of where you are at the moment, are there any songs that you feel as though um, the meaning has changed for you and maybe it's still relevant to you but the actual song you hear differently now? That's, an that's a really good question. Um, I like where you're going with that train of thought. I don't really listen to our songs like once yeah, they're, you yeah, know what I mean? Like once yeah, they're yeah. documented, um, they are just sort of that picture in, in a in a photo album for me. But along the lines of what you're saying, I, I do have a, a, a pretty s sort of solid awareness of the fact that once there's a moment when a song becomes the song that it is, right? Mm -hmm. Like. You might be work. You and I might be writing a song, right? And we're going to sit here and we're going to write a song. And at a certain point, that song becomes realized. It's not just your idea and my idea that we're working on. Now it's a song and it mm -hmm. exists. How it's going to stay? At that point, it becomes its own thing. And when it's recorded and people start listening to it, they sort of uh, internalize a song. You know, songs that I might be a huge fan of might in my mind, be referencing a point of an, an instance in my life or a time in my life or something that I went through when that song was sort of a soundtrack to what I was going through. And I make it about my experience, mm -hmm. but someone else might make that song about a completely different experience. You know what I mean? So in that sense, I think songs are always changing depending on who's listening to it. And that's to me is the beauty of it. And, and, and in the line of your question, that's why a lot of times I will particularly lyrically not if something is too specific, I'll actually mm. dial it back in the lyric and not, in most cases, not try and be super specific about what I'm trying to say because I feel like that weeds out some of the audience that, you know, if you leave things a little mm. more broader, open-ended, it's uh, it has an ability to, to reach more people and to impact them in their own experience, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 